Hi, Vu here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to talk about the Profit Retriever. We're going to talk about the Profit Retriever profit basically for Q2, second quarter of 2023. And it's looking good and it's looking stable. And as always, when we talk about the Profit Retriever, it's more about the stability and not so much the entire profit overall. Obviously, yes, that is very important. But the thing is that can we actually trust this month after month? And uh, obviously, we're going to give you the answer exactly here. So for the first uh, quarter, yes, $47,000 seems to have come in. But obviously, we're going to have a lot closer look at exactly where it comes from and how you can even improve some of these results for yourself. Uh, also trying to trade a bit less money and a bit more focused on exactly a few things of currencies and other things that can basically improve your overall results. Now, as you can see here, this is our profits uh, so far and our history of the entire Profit Retriever EA portfolio. And as you can see, it's doing quite well, 473 days. We are normally also sharing this one here with you on our weekly news report. We can see the monthly returns is about 10% and the weekly returns is about 2.3. Don't forget that we are not increasing lot sizes, even though our account balance goes up. So basically it is a bit uh, misleading here, but overall 10%, that is a very good guideline for where the profit retriever is. If you want to uh, try and trade it at least reasonably safe. Now, obviously also we have uh, now we've been trading this for, for a long time. And that also means that our balance has actually increased up to half a million in here. At the moment we have 25 accounts. So, Basically, it is now overall doubled for all the accounts, but equity is a bit low. And as always with the Profit Retriever, equity is certainly a few thousand lower on normally each account. Now we can see the equity here is 441 or almost $442,000. So basically a minus floating profit of 58,000. This is a bit of a a calculation error in here because we have done a bit of manual trade as part of the testing itself and that would mean that the real floating profit would most probably re around uh, the uh, 42,000 instead so there's about 16,000 at the moment which shouldn't have uh, been there but it is it is on one of the account where we did some manual trading in here and that is the floating profits that we didn't have uh, unfortunately removed in time. That's why it looks a bit worse. But at the end of the day, the drawdown is still roughly around 10%. And that is certainly something to be happy about when it comes to the profit retriever. Because as we mentioned before, it is very drawdown heavy. It can be from time to time. So we have obviously seen it even bigger in the first quarter where we certainly saw March and a bit of April also was some very difficult months. Overall, you can also see the trade wins for all these is 68.1%. So definitely with all these trades and all the different currency pairs in here, that is some decent factors. Trade lengths, two and a half days, trades per day, 39. And that is again for the entire portfolio. Now we have uh, started our new series here also, and that has now been going for uh, a few months. And what we are mentioning in here is we're always looking back for weeks to have a look at which ones are the best currency pairs, uh, which are the most profitable ones, which are the most stable ones. And a lot of people like to have this one in here, both so they can figure out what they want to trade for themselves, which ones are actually working, and other ones are using it basically to have a look at our copy link service in here, which links are the best ones. Now let's go and have a closer look and see exactly how quarter two looks, which ones are the top, the bottom. And we also have a section here with the top 10. So our updated Excel looks like this. Again, here on the left-hand side, we have the individual currency pairs. So it's either index, metal or Forex pairs we have here. We have the links or the account numbers for the individual accounts. And then we have April, May and June. We have the total sum and then also the total percentage. And we also gave you a bit of a list for the top 10. Now we're not gonna go through all of these uh, individual accounts here. 
So you uh, can stop the video yourself and have a closer look at the individual currency pairs. But we can see that the one that actually uh, tops it is the US 30, number 207C link, uh, doing extremely well and the total sum of $4,689 or 46.89%. That is basically the top score for this particular quarter. We can see Aussie, Japanese, both uh, the original one and number two, both have doing quite well and coming in at $4,022 or 40.22%. Or the second one here also comes in at $3,308 or 33.09%. Now you'll see that there's a lot of different currency pairs, but again, what we are basically having a look at is to see how many of them have been doing badly. So if you wanted to trade them over this particular quarter here, do they actually provide any kind of profits, returns, or are they simply in drawdown most of the time? Now we can see the Aussie Japanese up here, the uh, Link 98C. It had a bit of a drawdown back in April. A lot of them had it in April. It was a terrible month. And if you have a look, you can also see here that uh, uh, silver, uh, sorry, uh, gold had that one uh, in here also. And then we have a couple of new accounts also that has been set up, but only started in May and June. And we saw also down here, we had in April, quite a few uh, in uh, zero at the end. And obviously that also meant that for April, we actually only managed just over $10,269 or 4.46%. So obviously far from optimum, but again, we came out of it. So this has definitely been the worst uh, month so far of the uh, first six here in 2023. And if we're still making around $10,000, then definitely that is pretty okay. Now uh, for May and June, we have also seen here that the, the trading hasn't really picked up as we saw in the first quarter. But as you will see here, pretty much every single one is making profit. We do have uh, the Great British Pounds, AUD, that has been in a drawdown ever since uh, back in March. It hasn't come out of it yet. Uh, we could have done some manual intervention on this particular one here too, but uh, because of this one being part of the coupling service here also, and Alex doesn't really encourage uh, all these manual trades too much, uh, we have basically left it and hopefully it'll come out of it very, very soon. Now, if you go and have a look at June, you can also see here that it might be in a drawdown for a week or two, but every single month, most of them are actually making a bit of money. We can see a very low one here for the US CAT, uh, just uh, $3.96, but the rest of them is pretty much cashing in. Euro Japanese has also been struggling a bit, and we can see that the uh, Great British Pounds Japanese will also do that. Now, don't forget that we are not necessarily telling you that you have to trade all of these. You have to establish the base, which is now these uh, 25 different currency pairs, and then you try and find the best ones. That's exactly what this series is about that I just showed you here before. And if we have a look at the uh, top 10 in here, so instead of, of trading all 25 accounts, you basically trade 10, the top 10 that you can find in either in the quarter, or if you just look four weeks back, and you will see here that for the last quarter, if you would have traded the uh, top 10 accounts here, it would have made $30,760 or 30.76%. And that is definitely a very good average of just over 10% every single month. So the stability is definitely there. And that is actually what we are trying to show you in here. So with the numbers that we are trying to Put together here and saying okay it might be in a drawdown for a week or two don't panic overall you can see the numbers in here they are showing that things are making money no matter what now we also had a quick look back at the entire 2023 so far so basically the first six months and again here we find that most of the results is pretty much uh, as you saw in the first quarter some of them are simply just better at uh, cashing in and continues to do that. Uh, we have here the Aussie Japanese Link 98C here. Uh, it was in a drawdown, then it came out of it big time here in May and June. Again, total sum, you can see some of them 
just in the last six months has basically already cashed in and doubled the accounts. We have other ones that are looking at seven, uh, 6,000, 5,000 here. So they've been doing quite well. As we said also here, we are pretty much leaving them alone, but obviously changing some of the settings from time to time. And you'll see that all of them are cashing in quite well, even though, as again, we said here, uh, April was a bit low. You can see we had the crash back in March, uh, Cats with Franks and Aussie 200, basically two accounts that we uh, took off here. So uh, since they obviously couldn't take uh, what uh, the market gave to it, and that also meant that uh, that was a bit of a bad month in March. And again, April was obviously a bit lower here at the end of the day. And then it has recovered a bit, but definitely not back uh, to the 30,000 as we saw in January. There has been less volatility in the market overall. But again, it shows you here that what is possible with the profit retriever, you can even see a couple of new ones, uh, New Zealand Swiss francs, Cat Swiss francs is in here. They've been trading since May and June, as we said, and already here they are up by 10, 15%. And again, if you would have gone in and you would have uh, traded the uh, top 10 that you have in here, uh, you could do that obviously on a cent account with a thousand dollars. That would be similar to a uh, hundred thousand. So basically $10,000 uh, times 10. And you would have made uh, $79,000, 526 or 79.53%. So the uh, profits are good. The balance is good. And most importantly, the stability is exceptional. So I hope that uh, these two excels here again and uh, showing the profit, how they have done for both first and second quarter, plus obviously put the two numbers here together, saying how stable this profit retriever EA is. That's exactly why we love trading this particular one, because it is controllable, even though you have these big drawdowns from time to time, you can see them coming. It's not like it's going to wipe out the account overnight. And at the same time, you can also see that we have obviously 25 accounts. So should one account blow up, uh, which we do uh, expect to happen every quarter or so, then we are still in overall profit at the end of the day. And that is one of the security parameters that we have put in here. But obviously, as I mentioned before, you don't necessarily have to trade all 25 currency pairs. Try and pick the best ones. Again, go and have a look at our four week review in here to figure out exactly which ones are the ones that are continuous to do well. And obviously you can also do this particular video here to figure out which ones are the ones that are on top, which ones were the ones good for the first quarter, which is the ones that are good for the second one. And you should have very good chance of trying to basically aim for most of the ones that are producing very good profits every single month. Now, don't forget, this is not trading advice. This is not investment advice. You and you alone are, of course, responsible for your own trading. So we are simply just trying to provide you as much information as possible so that you can make your own decision and which EA you want to basically test, which ones you want to buy and which ones you want to start trading and uh, we are trying to give you a very good indication of exactly which ones are worth trading. You will find a lot more information also on our website. You can go even on the individual currency pairs through the FX Blue links that we have in there. So go and have a look, familiarize yourself with everything that you have in there and then happy trading. I hope to see you on one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>